Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here at Henderson Memorial Gardens, just outside of Nashville in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And we are here to visit and pay our respects to Mother Maybelle Carter. She was a huge influence in the country music scene with the Carter sisters and her daughters. I mean, obviously with June, Mary and Johnny and all of that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna walk around. Uh, I believe she's right up there and pay our respects. And before we do that, let me get the ad out of the way and say if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all the things. And if this isn't your, this isn't your first time here, hey, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the video. And also I've been told to plug it in the beginning and not the end, but we've got merchandise, which will be in the description. And I have a member section, which you can donate to help, you know, help me and you get to these places. So, with all that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about uh, Mother Maybell, and we'll go find her grave and we'll pay our respects. Maybell Carter was born Maybell Addington on May the 10th, 1909 in Nicholsville, Virginia. Maybell was a member of the Carter family, formed in 1927 by her brother-in-law, A.P. Carter, who was married to her cousin, Sarah, also part of the trio. The Carter family was one of the first commercial rural country music groups. Maybell helped create the group's unique sound with her innovative style of guitar playing, using her thumb to play melody on the bass strings and her index finger to fill out the rhythm. Her technique is kind of known as the Carter Scratch. It influenced the guitar shift from rhythm to lead instrument. She was widely respected in the Grand Ole Opry community of the early 1950s. She was a figure of country music circles who was popularly known, as I said, as Mother Maybell, although only in her 40s at the time. Maybell and her daughters toured from the 40s through the 60s as the Carter sisters and Mother Maybell. But after the death of AP in 1960, the group revived the name the Carter family. She passed away in 1978 due to poor health. Now we've been to this cemetery once before. We came here to see Johnny and June Cash, which we're gonna stop by their graves again today also. It's a beautiful cemetery with tons of country music artists buried here. Writers, singers, you know, all of the above. But I would imagine that Johnny and June's grave is probably the biggest attraction here. And I'm gonna do some more research on some more people here and we'll come back and we'll visit more. But today, I thought this would be a you know a good quick visit. We could come pay our respects to a, a legend, like a starter of country music, right? Like she's one of those early pioneers of the genre. Like right over, right over there. It's a beautiful day, the birds are out. Just a simple stroll through the cemetery, huh? And I didn't even pay attention the last time we were here. I was so focused on doing Johnny's grave that, I mean, I was probably standing right next to Mother Maybell's and didn't even know it at the time. We'll look at Johnny's and June's first just in case you didn't see. Yeah, see here's theirs right here. We'll go on the other side. It looks like there's more coins and stuff than the last time we were here. See there's 
There's Johnny. Let me get on this side over here. Let me walk around the grave. Don't want to walk on it. See, there's, there's Johnny and there's June. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. I mean, they, June passed away in May of 03, and Johnny wasn't right far behind her in September of 03. It's strange how that happens sometimes, isn't it? And you've got, like there's uh, Dale, Dale, Dale Mappis, and this doesn't have a name on it. Let's see, who could, well anyway, here's, here's who we came to see. There's Mother Maybell right there. Mother Maybell Carter. The first lady of country music, God has picked his wildwood flower. May of 09 to October of 78. And that's Ezra. And there's Anita. And then here's Merle Kilgore. Singer, songwriter, entertainer, and loved by all. Are you kidding me? I've made the biggest deal of all. So, uh, Merle has his own, he co-wrote Ring of Fire. That's his, his thing. More and more Johnny Reb, Wolverton Mountain, he co-wrote Ring of Fire. So yeah, he, uh, him and Johnny co-wrote Ring of Fire, right? I will meet you in the morning over there. All my love, Judy. Yeah, historic cemetery as far as country music goes. Like there's a... Uh, I wanted to come back and maybe we can do one of those compilations of just everybody here. That would be a really neat video to make. From what I understand, if you go in, they have a uh, like a little booklet you can get that explains like almost pinpoint where everybody's at, and you can go do all that to go with it. But I don't normally like to go in like in the church or the mausoleum. I don't really like to go in with a t-shirt and hat. It's just one of those things. I try to be as respectful as I can. Like if I go through a place and I'm like, oh, hey, there's somebody there and I've got this gear on, then it is what it is, I guess. But I try to be as, you know, nice and as respectful and I don't know, Southern hospitality, right? I know they probably don't care because they're not here anyway, right? But I still try to show my respects and do what I can. So if you've made it this far in the video, hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. My goodness, it is, it's a hot one today. You can tell it's uh, getting summertime in the south. This uh, humidity, it's, uh, it's relatively high today. It feels like you're walking through mayonnaise. You just sweat for nothing. Just, just doing nothing, you start sweating. So yeah, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. It means the world to me. Just like saying how much you like the videos and everything else it it really it helps keeps my it keeps me it keeps me going right and you know i hope to bring you guys more diverse interesting content just besides famous graves and whatever else i can come up with because i feel like maybe if i'm interested in it y'all will be too really nice out here if it wouldn't if it wasn't so hot you know but i guess you can't have everything so yeah, the uh, beautiful cemetery to walk through. They need to cut it, but I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna do that soon from the height of it. I, I would imagine they're gonna cut it soon. So if you're up in this way, hey, this is a great graveyard to come visit. I mean, Johnny Cash is there. Like how cool is that, right? So yeah, 
I, I have rambled sometimes. You know, thanks for watching again. Um, I have the merchandise. I have the, the member stuff. And, you know, the stuff really does. The hat's nice. I ordered some myself before I asked you guys to buy it. I was going to make sure I was okay with it. And I like it. It's pretty good. It fits well. This is a fitted hat. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much. And you never know what you're going to find on the back roads. I'll see you guys next time.